Hey there, how you doing out there in Compute Land? This is Matt Petrowski. We're taking a look at stuff. I'm over at QWERTY.com, and in this particular video, we're taking a look at a cool little uh, Vim plugin. We're using the Dash Vim plugin, easy access to Dash docs. So here's what's really cool about this. I love Dash because it allows you to keep all of your documents even when you're not connected to the internet, which isn't too often, but let's take a look at how this actually works. All right, so if you haven't used it, Dash is a really cool little app. In fact, over here you can see that I've got all these little uh, documents. Actually, let's zoom in here so we can see what's going on. Look at that. We've got all these different documents for all the different environments that you're working in. This is just gonna be a quick little video. I'm only going to show one little aspect of this, and this is how it works. So you want to load something from Dash within Vim. You're over in Vim right here, and the Dash plugin is so simple. All you have to do is say Dash. Now, the way that it works is Dash is going to actually take account to your file type, which I have down here at the bottom here. You can see that I'm working in a Drupal file, and I'm working with an SCSS. Now, because of this, it's a custom plugin that I'm using. It would try to focus, or it would try to, uh, Dash would actually bring up the Drupal uh, information. So down here at the bottom, actually, when I go into EX mode, I can simply type dash. You can see that down at the bottom. So right there, I just type dash. Now what dash is going to do is it's going to take the file type that you're working on and actually load something based on that. And it's based on whatever you're over on the cursor. Now I would change a little bit of how uh, dash is going to work, but you can see what happens, or the dash plugin, I should say. You can see what happens is over here in the dash file, it loaded my copy of Drupal. Now, a lot of times if you're working on a file that's just a straight file type, that's great. But if you're working on a particular file type, in this case, I'm working, working on SCSS. And in this particular case right here, I'm actually dealing with a compass extension or a, a mixin that is inline list. So I want to actually look up what Compass says that mixin is going to do. The problem is I'm in the Drupal file. So most of the time it's really no big deal. If this was an SCSS file, it would actually open up SAS for me. But I need to specify what I want to access right here within Compass. So I'm actually going to have to tell Dash to do this. And I wish that the shorthand version would be something like whatever your cursor is over right now, you'd be able to type Dash compass and then it would just use whatever's under the cursor but it, that's not how it works dash if you take a look at its help docs actually says that you can specify any keyword and then any uh whatever it is what is it that i'm looking at over here uh doc set within dash so i would have to actually type in inline dash list and then say that i want to go to compass well there's a shortcut that you can use and that is our command keys I should just go on like that and just type in dash again. And the shortcut is this, uh, control R and then control W will actually grab the word. Now in this case, it really sucks because that word object is separated with that dash. So it doesn't actually see the whole thing and I have to further type it out. But in many cases you're dealing with just one word, you hit return and there it is. It loads up in dash all of the doc sets that you have, it is absolutely brilliant for being able to do documentation. I love it. A command tab, you write back in your Vim, go to something else, and this play uh, time, let's go with a dash, and then I can go, go uh, control R, control W, of course, why do I keep picking these dashed words? <laughs> Tash, text dash, uh, oh my gosh, I'm just, bombing it here. Text dash decoration. Fine. I'll type the whole thing out. That word object grabbing it on hyphenated words obviously doesn't work very well, but uh, let's just go with uh, CSS. So look at that. That's how easy it is to bring it up no matter where you're at. Fine. This one will be fun. Let's do padding. Just for grins before we actually end up, let's just recall my command. I know I could probably go back a word there and uh, CSS. Padding. There we go. Look at all your specs. Look at whatever you're look, working on. It is a brilliant little implementation plugin add-in to Vim. Hope you love it. See you at the next video.